Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to this daily prophetic encounter where we engage insightful teachings of God's word, testimonies of God's wonders, and prophetic declaration to provoke heaven for divine releases and God answers. Welcome also to day 20 in October 2022. As usual, open your hand and heart for the day's prayers and prophetic blessings. Be responding with Amen, I receive it. I prophesy on all my listeners this day, the same spirit and power that operated and worked with Jesus Christ shall come on you. Receive the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Receive the spirit of counsel and might and the spirit of knowledge and the fear of God. May your life make a huge statement to this generation. God shall do a thing in your life this day. This is the day the Lord has made for you. You shall rejoice and be glad in it. You shall succeed and excel in all you do this day. I'm hearing in my spirit, what do they want more? Let them ask me, and we give them. God said, I should tell you to ask him for more, and I will give you. I want everyone to do this. Tell God in prayers, where you are there, what you want more, either quietly or loudly. But pray to God Almighty right now. Say, O oh Lord my God, for all, thank you for all you have done for me. Now I want more of this, of this, of that. Open up to God. Describe the miracle you desire for self or your loved ones. God said, let them ask me what they want more, and I will give them. So tell God, he is your maker, he loves you, he hears you, he will answer you. What do you want more from God? Is it more peace in your marriage, good health? Progress in your assignment, more anointing, more increase, more wisdom, more sales, profit, money, space, power, progress. What do you want more? Tell God. He said, let them ask me what they want more, and I will give them. Now let me pray for you. That which you have just expressed shall become your testimonies. God will give you more of what you desire. Psalm 115 verse 14 says, the Lord shall increase you more and more. You and your children. Receive the mantle of more and more. Bigger and bigger. Higher and higher. In Jesus name. All say amen. I receive it. Then who is this? Whatever belongs to you. Held up by someone. Or some people. Or due to some evil protocol. Shall be released to you soon. Your license to practice. Your documents. Your resort. Your money. Your goods. Your properties or space. They shall be returned back to you soon. Who is this? Conspiracy against you or your husband in the place of work, in the community or in the family. I prophesy, your conspirators shall go into disarray. Someone is afraid. What are you afraid of? Your fears will not happen. I say your fears will not happen in Jesus' name. Then October 20 celebrant, your prayers, open your hand. Be blessed. I say you are blessed. You will soar like the eagle and rule like a lion. You will live in prosperity, in good health, and in complete fulfillment in Jesus' name. Happy birthday. Now, listeners, let's go straight to teachings before we return back to more prayers. First issue today. Good morning, Daddy, and thank you for your insightful teachings. In your book, Why Some People Are Poor, you encourage us to make impact and in the process earn a living. My question is, I want to register and run an NGO basically for charity. How can one earn a living from such organization, knowing full well that money donated by people is specifically for charity? Wow. Thank God for your charitable heart. The truth is, you don't start or run an NGO or a charity to make money for self. It is people's money to be used for the purpose stated in your document. So, what you must do is to have viable means of income. You must have other income from where you make donations to run the charity. It is not the other way around. You don't make money from charity. You donate money to charity. Unfortunately, there are many fraudulent people establishing NGOs and charity organizations to make money for, for themselves. It is wrong. That is why these days, it is difficult to attract donors for charitable organizations too many frosters on the field today. Next, good morning, pastor. Please, 
if as an ordained leader in a church, I notice my pastor doing some things that are not right, and I try to talk to him, then he uses it against me in preaching on the pulpit without necessarily mentioning my name. But you know he's referring to you. And also saying, nobody has the right to call the pastor to order what she won't do. Wow. This happens a lot, especially in a one-man-owned church, as they say. He's probably the founder and the owner of that church. He also probably is the one that nominated and ordained you as an elder there. So he's above everyone. No one can talk to him. No one can call him to order. Many of us Pentecostals are nothing but Pentecostals and Pentecostals waiting to happen. Many of the Jews do not even have a father figure over them in ministry. My sincere counsel to you is that you prayerfully locate a better structured and organized church to join instead of becoming critical and bitter against him. From that point, you no longer be blessed by his ministration or the atmosphere. You may even be accused of rebellion against the church and authority and be sanctioned. That would leave you with pain in your heart the rest of your life. It's a hard decision though, but you have no option. My last word for everyone, before you join a church, examine the structure, their constitution, and the leadership structure of that church. If not, after you have labored so hard, one person will just mess you up. Next, good morning, Daddy and Tony Point Global family. Please, sir, if you make a vow in a church and you later left that church, even left the state, can you redeem the vow in another church since God is one? Wow, yes, God is one, but the local churches are many. My counsel is that you go back to the church where you made the vow and redeem it. And if it is money vow, ask for the church account and transmit the money. Anna in the Bible, you remember, went from Ramah, from Ramah their city, to Shiloh to make a vow on Samuel. When Samuel was eventually born, she traveled back to Shiloh to the priest before whom she made the vow to pay her vow. She did not send Samuel to a house of God in Ramah, the city where they live. No, she went back to Shiloh to pay her vow. So pay your vow in the church where you made it, even though you have left the place. Follow Anna's example. Next, good day, daddy. How can one be free from the guilt of secret sins and become right with God? Wow. Read First John chapter 1, verse 9. He says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, repent from before God, confess your sin and your failures to him, then turn away from the sins. Don't make it repent, confess, and repeat. No, don't repeat the sin you have confessed. Be determined. Do warfare prayers on it. Never go back to the sins from which you have confessed and God has forgiven you. Now, for everyone listening to me, held up in the bondage of any besetting sin, I pray for you. Be delivered today in Jesus' name. Once we have repented from his sin and get forgiveness from God, we must not return back to the same sin. Listeners, we'll pick it up from here tomorrow. Don't miss any point daily. What you daily hear will transform you. Rebroadcast this message to your contact and do so daily. Today, Thursday, is the D-Day, the prayer mountain service day in Ikeja, Lagos. All members and listeners in and around Lagos leave home early to be the traffic. Join us live at the prayer mountain service today in Ikeja, Lagos. We drive to services every Thursday, 7 to 9 a.m. and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Attend the one that is most convenient to you. You could even attend the two. Most people do. You shall be given anointed mantle for praying and doing miracles free of charge. You'll be given anointed money with teachings to provoke financial ab abundance free of charge. Prayer Mountain services we hold simultaneously today at Dominion City, Adulogu Bus Stop, along the World of Dojo Express Road, Ibadan. It will hold at Kolobo Abel Kuta, Oshobo and Akure, two services in all these venues. Don't miss it if you live in these cities. Telephone numbers to call or chat with for details and for direction to venues is Dupe 
on 0806-478-8392. Start calling and chatting now. Prayer Mountain services shall be live streamed. So join us from wherever you are all over the world. Some people complain that they tried uh, sending their vow and remitting their tithe, but the paper was not responding. Our paper portals have now been reactivated. It's now okay. So go back, transmit your tithe, and all the seed. These are the things we owe God as long as we live. Follow the PayPal instruction and do your transmission. In case you are having issues, please send a chat to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand for clarity. Let me begin to pray for us the second round of prayer. Open your hand. I prophesy to your life this day, you will become your dream. You will fulfill your vision. You will fulfill your mission. The power of God shall be on you. Help us, support us, those who will give you care, will surround you. God will send angels in form of men and men in form of angels to see you through to where you are going. Whatever is a burden, a concern, a pain, and an embarrassment, an insult, whatever is making life difficult for you, is supernaturally separated from you now. Receive divine impetus for accelerated increase in your areas of desire. Your fears will not happen. Everything you need to fulfill purpose, to serve God and make a difference, to be happy and excel in what you do, receive it now. The strange power, the unimaginable favor, the mysterious backup that this commission enjoys come over you also. Everywhere you are on earth, the presence of God rests with you. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.